Hi, it's Green Juice here on day 21, three weeks of the um, of my 28-day water fast. Um, yeah, funny old day today. There's a gale blowing, so I thought I'd just uh, come outside. Uh, the reason I've come outside is because I want to show you something really exciting, which I just did. Just went out to the local town and I purchased um, oranges. I'll just show you. Here they are, little beauties. Look at those little babies. They are. They're. Um, I'm going to let. I'm going to take those aside, take them upstairs, and let them have a good old ripen. They're uh, South African. Couldn't get anything else, but they're they're nice, nice oranges. Feels nice to sort of feel the things. Good solid, good solid oranges. Quite heavy, which means they should have got a lot of juice in them. Because when I break my fast, that will be what I start to break them on. Um, it really is very windy out here, so I'll, I'll probably just go inside for a minute. Excuse me, we'll be going. Yeah, that's better. Um, as I say, I thought I'd just let them ripen out in the sun a little while. Yeah, so um, it's quite exciting, really, day 21, cause considering that's now um, three weeks left. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm having trouble actually focusing on what I want to say today. Not not much, really. I feel OK. I'm, I'm, I'm having a restful day today. Well, I'll say that. I've been out to the shops. I had to go and get a few things. I also got uh, frozen frozen blueberries. I wanted to try and get some fresh ones, but it's probably a bit early to get frozen. I mean, sorry, uh, fresh fruit like that. But um, I got frozen blueberries, quite a few of them, um, which will tide because I intend to, to break the, the fast with uh, orange juice with a few um, blueberries blended in and uh, and just eat that you know, with a spoon or something, just a little bit at a time. Um, yeah, so food's very much on my mind still. Um, lips still troubling me like mad. Um, I th I th I'm sure with this fast, and I don't know if anybody else can relate to it, but the deep cleansing is is, is started sort of now. You know, in the last few days, it's got really, really quite, quite strong. Um, you know, if, if I'd done a seven day fast, I don't think it would have touched anything at all. I think it would have been a waste of time for me, to be honest. I think it would have done nothing. I think my, my, um, you know, my, my body was is so toxic that it needs probably a minimum of 28 days. You know, I, I'm not going to do any longer than 28 days, but um, it could go well beyond that. You know, I'm sure that I could go 40, 50 days um to to really to really um get in there and, and deal with some of this toxic toxic um body matter i suppose it sounds gross but um you know they they, they, they talk about like f f that your f your flesh well you, you like fat or a lot of a lot of toxins get stored in fat which then gets put away um and and when I went on to doing eighty ten ten, of course I was getting my um, caloric needs by eating loads of fruit, you know. And I was following more like the thirty bananas thing, where just to eat as much as you can and cram it in. So I was eating thousands of calories a day sometimes. Thinking, like, wait, this is great, you know. And it was. And as I said before, I didn't put any weight on, but um, you know the weight got stuck there. I was still I was exercising a fair amount, doing my cycling. Um, not a huge amount of cycling, an hour and a half, maybe two hours some days, but not, you know, try to do it most days. But the, the weight didn't shift, you know, and I think it was because the body didn't really want to get into that detox of of that shitty fat, you know, which was um, going to gonna cause it a lot of grief. But this fast has given me the chance to deal with some of it and hopefully... Um, you know, it's going to be a lot better after this. Um, and the the food cravings are still here today. And they keep, you know, I, I keep uh, thinking of um, 
John McDougal, you know, Dr. John McDougal, and and his sort of um, starch lifestyle, and, and and whether it's because I'm doing a fast and that seems attractive, I don't know, but it does seem attractive. And I've been watching a few vids on some of his stuff he makes, you know, beans and stuff. Very restrictive on fruit. I don't quite understand that. I don't know. You know, I mean, basically his motto is eat as much starch as you can of all different, or, or as you want, not as you can, sorry. <laughs> eat as much starch as you want of all different types, you know, like potatoes and rice and beans and corn and all those sort of things, barley, you know, lovely things. Um, plenty of greens and stuff. But f restrict fruit. Now, I don't know if there's some sort of, um, I don't know if there's some uh, conflict, you know, something conflicts with fruit and starch. I'm not sure about that. But it's been looking very attractive, you know. The idea of using like a slow cooker or something and bunging in a load of beans with a few onions and a few garlics and a few pieces of garlic. And then using that and just spicing them up a bit with some, you know, a bit of Tabasco and stuff and putting that onto rice or onto a baked potato. That sounds quite appealing. But... I would also like to continue doing my um, banana smoothies in the morning and I don't know how it all fits together, I wish I did. I don't understand that, you know, it's all... Um, but anyway, that's not that doesn't come into it at the moment because when I break this fast it will be on fruit and I will definitely for the first six to eight weeks just be purely fruit and vegetables and nothing else, you know. Maybe a few nuts and seeds, maybe half an avocado here and there. Yeah. Um, yeah, but generally feeling good, you know. I, 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 it's sort of it's quite early for me to make one of these videos today. It's about midday, no, one o'clock now, and um, I'm going to really try and get a little sleep this afternoon. Just try and lie down, take it because no, what normally happens if I read in bed, if I take a book into bed, um, you know, I, I, I read for about ten minutes and that's it. <laughs> Obviously, it's a bit of a waste of time, but. Um, yeah, it's great. I I feel really happy about things, but um, I'm going to repeat it again. Fasting is tough, and it can leave your emotions up in the air. You know, if you if you've got the opportunity and you're able to go, you know, if you've got like I don't know, whatever money it takes. You know, it's, it seems a lot of money, five grand plus. You know, that's in pounds um, to go on a supervised fast do it you know because you've got all the support you've got the lectures you've got the constant people there who are the same you know and, and when you do this on your own you really are on your own you know I've got I've got a supportive partner um, and, and she really is supportive you know but I don't want her to do it and I want to make sure that, that, that she's you know she's not on a fast at the moment I don't want her to sort of feel guilty about eating around me I want her to be able to get on and, uh, and do what she wants and I know she does feel guilty sort of hides it you know and I don't I don't think that's good I think you know this is this is my thing um, I'd like the support from and I do get the support I get the support from 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 YouTube people leaving comments or and watching other people who have been through this you know and and, and knowing that in the, at the end of it this is the right this is the right thing that I need to be doing for myself at this stage is to cleanse the body out, you know. Getting a bit, sort of watching the 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 blood the 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 blood pressures at the moment. I don't really know, you know. I said, oh, I got, I will monitor them, and I've read that your blood pressure goes low, but I've had some really really good low ones recently. Yesterday I had a an 88 over 55, which is the lowest I've ever seen it. Today it was back up to 91 over 55, I think. Heart rate still a bit high. Um, but I guess that's all, you know, it's all right monitoring it, but if you don't, you know, I don't know how low it could go before it's safe or not safe. I feel all right. I'm still feeling mentally alert. I can still function. I've just driven into the town, done some shopping in the supermarket. I, as I said, I bought the, the blueberries and stuff and put a few pears out to ripen because um, I'm going to soak a few prunes as well and after a few days I'll put some prunes and pears together um, mixed with a bit of apple juice with oh, freshly pressed apples um, and that's very good for the 
to get the the bowels moving again you know I haven't seen it recommended anywhere but that's what I'm going to do for me because I, I, you know I know that it's going to be a bit of a shock when you start to refeed um, oh, I guess there's not much more to say I'm excited about my oranges that was really cool I'll let them have if it's sunny all day today I'll let them have all day in the sun even though it's not warm out there but a bit of sunshine on them rife them up a bit and then they can stay inside and in a week, which it is, they should be um, they should be sweetening up nicely, um, all ready for the for the excitement of the refeed. Yeah, as you could tell, I'm still spaced out and a bit and not very focused. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for disliking or liking, or whatever the case may be. Thanks for subscribing if you do. Um, and I'll catch you again tomorrow. We'll put a stick another one of these on tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.